my name is Joe Jackson. I'm a journalist, author, interviewer and a broadcaster, as I always say at the start of my podcasts. But earlier today, February the 11th, 2023, I made a podcast celebrating the work and life of Bert Bacharach, who died yesterday. Uh, it was, I read an article, an interview with the man that I had published in the Irish Times in 1998. But here, as my second tribute to the man, I'd like to play a tiny section uh, of a tiny interview I did on radio about a collaborative album he made with Elvis Costello. I don't particularly like Elvis Costello, and I think that comes across in this uh, conversation with Mike Murphy on Irish radio. But here, anyway, is Joe Jackson and Mike Murphy talking about Bert Bacharach. Painted from memory, the title track from a new album from Bert Bacharach and Elvis Costello. With me to discuss the album is Joe Jackson. Is that song representative of the full album, Joe? Yeah, it's very, it's very representative in terms of uh, the mood of the album. People coming to this for rock and roll won't find it. Most songs are about kind of reflecting on lost love and the idea of painted from memory, as if the songs are evoked from lost love, heartbreak, love dead, love dying. We've spoken, you and I have spoken about Bacharach before on the arts show, and uh, it is worth reminding people that Bacharach wrote the melodies for a walk on by anyone who had a heart, etc., etc., 24 hours from Tulsa. It was Hal David who wrote the lyrics. Yeah, and uh, even going back to the punk era, when Elvis Costello first came out, he was always praising uh, Bacharach and David. And I think it is that kind of, and that to me is the greatest team that Bacharach was ever involved in, and that includes, supersedes these two working together. But Costello always liked those, the uh, uh, apparently, like he would, as a songwriter, he would identify the uh, wake up, make up rhyme in I Say a Little Prayer. And the uh, tiny details in songs like 24 Hours for Tulsa, which I mean, I've, I even last night was listening to the back rack. I think we reviewed it on this show uh, a couple of years back. And those songs by Pitney and Scylla Black and whatever, uh, the, the arrangements, the lyrics, and everything, they still sound absolutely sublime 30 years, more than 30 years uh, later. So it's stuff like the telling details in 24 Hours from Tulsa, which is, uh, I love the line, uh, kissed her, caressed her, told her I'd die before I would let her out of my arm. It just has that kind of urgent romanticism, which to me is the essence of both Hal David's lyrics and Bacharach's melodies. Uh, but I don't know when Elvis goes for the same kind of wounded romanticism in this next song, if he gets it quite as right, The Long Division. Now, Joe, when you listen to the chorus, it couldn't be anybody oh, but Bacharach in that, in that uh, melody composition. Yeah, no, it's a, the, it has all the, uh, all the hooks and all the kind of little twists and turns, these idiosyncratic things that Bacharach apparently makes it hellish. There was a documentary on BBC where you saw poor Silla Black being put through the paces doing Alfie, and he will insist on it could be just a chime coming in on a beat or a, a curve on the melody, and it has to be precisely where he wants it, and he'll do it a hundred times until he gets it right. So all those little twists and turns are there in the music on this album. So you're getting typical Bacharach melodies. Absolutely. What about Elvis Costello? Well, I think the thing about it, it's just kind of the, the, the title of that song, The Long Division, when I was first listening to it, it did make me feel. This idea with Elvis, it's almost like uh, it's a mathematical equation. I got this sense with Elvis that kind of... That song there is supposed to be about like uh, a threesome. It's like Tulsa updated. It's yeah. uh, it's three people involved in a love affair, uh, but the the whole sense of it seems to be uh, you know as if it was set up as let's do a song about somebody the other side of twenty four hours from Tulsa. Yeah. It's like a, a a challenge for a songwriting challenge rather than some kind of sense of soulful experience okay. coming across. So, I don't so think I, his voice is that uh, musical a voice to listen to to com to put in with Bacharach. Well, that's what you. I think that's what uh, is going to be the device, decisive factor for listeners or for people thinking of buying the album, can you take uh, Elvis Costello's angular voice on top of these richly melodic uh, uh, tunes? I myself would prefer if this was Scott Walker uh, back on form with yeah. Bert Bacharach. All right. Last one, what are we going to hear? We're going to hear uh, God Give Me Strength, which is um, a song. That, this was the song they first wrote together. I think it was included in the movie called Grace of My Heart. And this started the collaboration. The album is two years in the making. And even though I kind of, we have uh, reservations about it in terms of Artful pop, this is classic music. All right, Joe Jackson, thank you very much. Hi, Joe Jackson here again. I thank you for listening to this edition of the Joe Jackson Interviews podcast. If you want to read some of my articles, including the one about birds, you can check out my website, joejacksoninterviewer.com. Thanks again for listening.